The state of Florida is bracing for a tropical storm Colin, which is expected to make landfall in the next several hours. Florida Governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency in 34 counties as heavy rains, strong winds, and serious flooding threaten much of the state's coastline. David Begno is in Clearwater, Florida. David, I see the winds buffeting you there. Where is this storm heading right now? Look, it's too late to brace right now, Elaine. If you haven't started bracing, it's already here. They said the worst was yet to come. Well, it has come. We're getting wind gusts of upwards of 60 plus miles per hour here on Clearwater Beach. When you turn the face, those raindrops feel like little pellets to the face. What's interesting, and I want to point out, if you look in the water here, this is the problem lifeguards have been dealing with all day. There are two young men bobbing up and down in the water in an area that they were asked not to go. This has been a red flag warning all day long. Lifeguards have been telling people to get out of the water because the current has been drifting people and taking them against their will quite a ways down the beach here. But you simply can't stop the thrill seekers and the tourists who love a tropical storm. This is not life threatening, but you look at the wind that's blowing right now and it's definitely causing some real problems. We've already gotten reports in the Cedar Key area of Florida of significant flooding. In the Tampa Bay area, Elaine, they've gotten some places have seven inches of rain that fell in the last 12 hours. David, how much longer are they looking at? Well, what they're saying is that the storm is starting to pick up speed, so it could be over South Carolina as early as tomorrow. The majority of it is still moving. We haven't had the official landfall yet, but they were telling us, the forecasters were saying that around the eye of the tropical storm, they weren't seeing some of the most intense rain. It was on the eastern side of this system. Elaine, every place in Florida today saw rain. Wherever you were, at one point I looked at a map to see where it was raining, and the entire state of Florida was covered in green. Now, here's why it's such a problem in this area where we are in Tampa Bay. Last summer, they got nearly 60 inches of rain in less than 30 days. This area is already saturated. So when you've got a storm like this that's moving in and dumping as much rain as it is, you've got a real problem. So flooding is the big concern as the rain just will not let up. This is the worst it's been all day. All right, David Begno, stay safe out there. David Begno reporting. Thank you so much. Thank you.